Hi, today we'll talk about how to create architectural diagrams for the Google Cloud platform using the official set of icons provided by Google Cloud. So this is the website, uh, official website of Google Cloud, wherein you can refer all the official uh, icons. Do read this disclaimer before proceeding with it because Google clearly states that they are currently in the process of updating their product icon set. During this transition period, they will not be updating the PowerPoint, the draw.io, lucid chart, simple diagrams, or Kaku resources. They will update these resources once the new product icon set is ready for release. However, I find this a very useful platform to draw the architectural diagrams. The start of sharing with you. Uh, these are the various asset libraries that is provided uh, on this. So the Google Slides, you can use the Google Slides to refer to already existing presentations over here. Currently, it is in the view only mode to log in. Uh, you will have to log in into your Google account. So it clearly states that you can only view this document. You must be logged into a Google account to request a access from the owner. So these are editable, but you need to uh, get access from the owners to edit it. The Lucid chart, you, there are multiple templates available over here. You can refer them also. The draw.io is good for drawing the architectural diagrams. I have drawn one such diagram using this draw.io and uh, it is pretty good and convenient to draw it. The Kaku, you can get the various icon sets over here. The simple diagrams, it is basically a STLP library zip format which you can use for referring to the official icons. The PNG basic card icons, the SVG and the PNG icons. So uh, these asset libraries are very useful and very helpful while creating these icons. So um, now uh, I'll try to replicate this for you guys so that it makes sense and easy uh, if you want to create any architectural diagram. So let's go into the draw.io, click over here, it opens and you can see this is present. Let's delete it for now. So uh, let's try to understand this diagram first. Here it is using the Google Cloud platform in which uh, the file is residing at the Google Cloud storage. Thereafter, a cloud data flow is being used to read this file and ingest it into the sync that is BigQuery. And the Cloud Composer is uh, an orchestration tool that is being used. It is a, a Google tool. So this is how uh, the pipeline is created. Let's try to create it. So we can get the Google Cloud Platform base path over here and GCP zones, the Google Cloud Platform, click it and it will appear on your screen. Next is the cloud storage. We can get it in uh, the GCP storage part over here. Here you go, the G Cloud storage. Place it as per your requirement over here. In addition to this, we can get the BigQuery and the cloud data flow in the GCP icons data analytics part. Here we go, the BigQuery sync. We can use the BigQuery sync over here. The cloud data flow, we can use it over here. Now we can connect them using the uh, GCP paths, and the arrow in the primary part. Okay, we can increase the starting and the ending point for these so for reference let's see what it is over here it is around 128 and 270 so we can do it 128 it's pretty big so let's keep it around 250 okay good and um place of 470 let's make it as 370 better 390 okay so this is how we can connect it in a similar way we can use another one so in place of 390 let's keep it as 410 okay it's still back so we can do it for 25 yeah, better. And the end point, we can do it as 670. It's going scratched. So let's reduce it to 650 or 600. So this is something which you can 
try and do it so this is how it looks now if we want to use the cloud composer so uh, rather than looking out at the various tabs to search where it is we can just uh, click on this search shapes write composer over here and we'll get the icon displayed so we can see it got placed now let's do it here we go so this diagram is now a exact replica of the one that i had created earlier okay now you can save this or download it on your system go to file save as and here you go you can mention the file name for example pipeline and choose what type of file you want like dot png dot svg html xml broad or io anyone so i'll keep it as dot png for now you can save it wherever you want i'm doing a download okay and let's try to open the file so here we go it looks like this so the this platform provided by google is very good very easy very convenient and in addition to this uh, gcp icons you can find many other icons over here for example if i want to use python uh, icon i can just do a search over here for python you can see all the icons for python are available whether it is boto or python anyone you can use as per your requirement there are various other icons provided for uh, other cloud service providers also like uh, aws azure so you just need to traverse down and you will get it use more shapes from here so in this you can see this standard option is provided the various software options provided networking so for example if you want to use aws 19 or you want to use any other for example azure let's see where is azure or the basic diagrams you can use over here so here it was azure you can use it let's do an apply and here we go it should be available on the top here we go so we can see the icons are there now aws icons are there aws analytics icons you can see over here all the icons are redshift data pipeline kafka streaming kinesis so you can see most of them uh, are available over here for now azure you can see for azure also the ai and the machine learning about services cognitive services so you can find most of the icons and this is a very friendly online tool that you can use to draw your various architectural diagrams do let me know in the comment if you have any other better options which we can use to do for creating the architectural diagrams. Thank you.